Right, hi everyone. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a, a butterfly very similar to this, just using scraps. Um, these are the edges, take the middles out, use them for various things. Um, and doilies, you never waste anything on them. Uh, that's one thing. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. For those who don't know, obviously, I've got some various bits and pieces I can play around with. And some laces, some beads and whatnot. Now, the other thing is, um, I've got these which are my sister's and uh, she wants them, she loves them obviously and I do as well, um, but she did say she would have liked them to have been, uh, you know, had resin on them. So I'm going to do them for her and I will do that as a tutorial on how to resin your custards. So I'm going to do that, I have a six to do, but I've just got to wait for... Um, I thought I had enough acetate and I don't because I have to put that on the deck, put the acetate around it, uh, seal it off and then pour the resin, mix the resin and pour it in. Um, I do want some resin on the sides as well, but we'll um, have to wait for that to come in. So I've ordered some more acetate. So unfortunately I can't do that today, which I was going to do. I've also ordered some of these to make... Um, like a, I don't know, pan stand or whatever you want to call it. Maybe to put in the middle of your table, whatever. Because uh, I want to do one myself. So, that's that. Now, I've got a parcel. And I think this is from Jane. I've only just... It's, well, it is from Jane. And I think this is um, Jane Davis. And she just says, hi, Fee, just some thimbles. Uh, I thought you might like. And the slate in Welsh slate that I've en engraved for you. So love Jane and so I'm thinking oh I'm gonna have to have a look so I've just kind of like pulled it out for me to have a look but I was fascinated by this thimble and this is the Centurion helmet uh, dated circa AD 75 it says a highly detailed miniature of a legionary Centurion's helmet of the time of the Emperor Vespian Um, the helmet would have had a crest of horsehair and would have been worn with silver scale uh, body armour and uh, decorated greaves, I think it says, to protect his legs. Curious, I think that is. Anyway, so I was fascinated by this. Look at that. <laughs> you know, it's crazy, isn't it, to think what they'd actually make a thimble from or into. So a Centurion helmet. And uh, I, I'm just totally blown away by that. I absolutely love it, Jane. So thank you so much. Now, I haven't undone them. I just slightly took them out to see what was what. Barry Island. Oh, look. The China one. Oh, now, now um, can I see that? Bone China. Wales. From Barry Island in Wales. I actually, I'm sorry, Jane, but I looked at that and thought of a, a miniature. Do you remember when I used the miniatures? Because these will probably go in a cabinet. So I won't need it in this, but um, I could make that with the tiny threads, you know, the spools of thread, and make that into a miniature. I, I'm sorry, and that's what I'm like, Jane. <laughs> But yeah, brilliant. That's quite a big one, that one, compared to these. Let's have a look at this one. Let's see what we've got here. I'm hoping I can read them all. Cause William of Orange. Landed Brixham. Oh, let me just see. 1688, I think that. Or 83. 83, I think. William of Orange. Made in England. So, because I do collect thimbles. I don't know if any, well, surely some of you know by now. I collect spoons, ornate spoons, thimbles, miniature nibs, well, my old pen nibs. <laughs> Just got, I don't know what my kids are going to do when I'm dead and gone. Probably bin it all. Malta. There's one from Malta. I'm just fascinated by them. I mean, I really should go and have a look. And see who it was that invented them. Oh, 
probably somebody that actually pricked the finger badly. And this one is Wales again. And this one, Tintern. South Wales again. See, my husband's Welsh, uh, Raymond, he's from Wales. So you see in that. And um, yeah, he was born just across the way from um, Landudno. Well, he was born in Landudno, and Conway's just Conway Castle is opposite the house he was born in, across the water. Two up, two down. <laughs> no, one up, one down. I think it was. And um, his mum had um, five boys and two girls. <laughs> then they bought a house up above them, above that. Oh, there's another one here. So and lived there for many years. And uh, his sister still lives in Wales. Elizabeth R. To celebrate the Diamond Jubilee of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, 1952 to 2012. There we go. And Henry VIII recognised him straight away by his face. Henry VIII. I can't, well, I can, yeah, Henry VIII. Oh, God, I can't read that. I'll have to get my spine glass out. I, don't, I haven't got one here to read that. But, yeah. They're brilliant, these, Jane. And thank you for thinking of me. I'm not sure if they're from your collection or, or whatever, or whether you found them and thought, oh, Fee, I'll have those. But thank you very much. <laughs> Wales. See, Raymond, uh, although he, he can say that long word, you know, that's on the big arm, um, by the big arm, it's got that, that funny word that's really long. Raymond can say that, but he doesn't actually speak Welsh, even though he was born in Wales. Isn't that weird? Princess Diana, of course. A tribute to Diana, the Princess of Wales from 1961 to 1997. Born same year as me. What's this one? Oh, this looks really interesting. Now, that is, if I'm not... Yes, I can't, let me just... Made in the UK. That is... I'm sure that Henry's father, I think. Henry VIII's father. Not sure. I'm going to have to get my spyglass out, but I do appreciate them all. Thank you so much. And I don't have any of those in my collection. So uh, thank you for that, Jane. I, they'll, I'm taking them out because I'm going to put them, wrap them up and put them in a box until I, uh, I've got the others up there in a container because I need to find the right um, box to put them in. I want a wall thing, you know, to stand them on. Oh, my God. And you've done this, Jane. That is brilliant. Oh, I can put my cup on that, can't I? My son deal, uh, has slate um, for where he works and uh, he brought, he gave me a big piece not long ago, which I can use for my desk when I'm doing stuff. That is brilliant. Fiona Jennings, 644. Love it. <laughs> is that brilliant? And she's even put the base bits on. Love it. Absolutely love it, Jane. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm going to use that now. That's what it's for, isn't it? It's for me to use it. I love that. Thank you. I like having gifts. It's nice. <laughs> so, thank you so much for those, Jane. Absolutely love them. I'm just going to pop these in here again, love. Um, while I uh, do my little tutorial. Now, I'll come back and do the tutorial. But thank you so much, Jane. Much appreciated, and they will go nicely with my collection.
thumbs up from me. Bye-bye for now.